this this is my goodness. You look very nice, mother. Hello, my beautiful hands. It's my birthday, and I'm in Madrid. So this is gonna be like the quickest intro in the world to the vlog, but I'm in Madrid. I'm in Madrid with my mother. Basically what happened was, so I got a new job, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> new age, new job, new month, new tax brackets. We thank God, Alhamdulillah. And basically the training was in Madrid. So I had to move my birthday trip early. So I flew from Mykonos to Madrid since it is my 30th. I was like, I'm sorry. I love solo traveling, but I don't want to spend my 30th birthday on my own. So my husband couldn't come. So I flew in my mother. So we're about to go to dinner now. 10 out of 10. Turn around. 360. Yeah, give me this, give me this out, give me this out. <laughs> Serving looks, look at the inches. No, mommy, you look very nice. You would think that it's her birthday. <laughs> Guys, my mom is such a character. But anyway, it's 10 o'clock now, so we're gonna go. Luckily, in Spain, they don't sleep and all the restaurants are open until 2 a.m. But tomorrow, we're also going to the Four Seasons Spa in Madrid. So yeah, I'll take you guys along with me. But yeah, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I hope the lighting's all right as well. See ya. 10 out of 10, literally the best mocktail you can have. Okay, so mommy, are you gonna try artichokes? Yes. Guys, the waiter hates us because my mom made them take the steak back to play <laughs> to make it well done. When he came to bring the bill, he looked like he wanted to murder us with his eyes. And on top of that, she also ordered butter instead of Spanish oil. Are you happy with yourself? Good morning guys, I hope you guys can see me. So we're just on the way to the Four Seasons. Madre is here, but she doesn't want to be in the camera. She's like, turn her head. Um, so we're gonna go to the spa, and then I've also booked brunch at this place that's in the Four Seasons as well, I forgot the name. I just love the Spanish architecture. I just had to show you. But yeah, yesterday was great, it was lovely. I feel refreshed. Mommy, do you feel refreshed? Yes. Do you feel yes. relaxed? Yes, yes. We got a good night's sleep. She got a good night's sleep. We got a good night's sleep. So Alhamdulillah always. I don't know if I can record in the spa, but we'll see. Ahmed's right next to the Four Seasons. Really? I'm Michelle. Welcome to my spa experience. I need to stop the computer finder. Hi, I'm Michelle. It's my birthday. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. I gotta go. My mom is here. I want the world to know. What? Shall we Ah, here. Yeah. How was your massage, mother? It was very good. It was good. Yeah. How would you rate it out of 10? Nine. Nine? Yes. Why not a 10? You can't give 10. Okay. Nine. She's... A nine is a good enough score. Which okay. number is my number? It's your birthday. There you go. Not yet. Sushi. Maybe one day. No, Sushi? I'm the manager. Oh, you're the yeah. boy. So I got the beef stroganoff. And there's beef rice in here. And my mum got the fish. However, they forgot her mashed potatoes. Oh. And here we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Voila, c'est bon. Hey, my beautiful hands. I hope you guys are all doing well. Firstly, I'm going to apologize if you can hear my dishwasher because I'm literally filming in my kitchen. And my husband put it on forgetting that I was filming. So you probably won't be able to hear it, but just in case. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this Madrid slash birthday vlog. I've also got my Mykonos part of my birthday vlog coming up for you guys. I'm literally editing the vlog right now and I'm hoping to upload it today. And I realized it was a bit short. So I also wanted to add like a mini haul near the end of it. So this is going to be things that I purchased for my birthday trip slash things that I bought myself for my birthday. I was also thinking of doing a what I got for my birthday video. Let me know what you think. I personally love watching them, but I know some people are a bit iffy about it. I think most of my followers will love watching them, but just let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys haven't guessed, it is my birthday. Well, now it's the following Monday. So my birthday was this coming Friday. I have now left my 20s behind me. I'm in my 30s. I really thought that I would have this euphoric moment once I turned 30. It hasn't come yet. I feel like I was already mentally in my 30s, probably from the age of about 26. And then it didn't dawn on me that, oh, I'm not in my 30s. And then now I'm like, oh my God, I'm actually in my 30s. But anyway, so things that I bought for my trip. First thing I'm actually gonna start off with is this lovely big box from Gucci. So if you've watched my luxury wish list, you know that there was a particular Gucci hat that I've had on there for a while and I purchased it. Firstly, it came too late for me to take it with me to Mykonos because I went to Mykonos and then from Mykonos I went to Madrid for work and then my birthday fell in Madrid. So I flew in my mum as you guys would have seen and yeah, it just came too late. And also it's actually the wrong size. So I got the hat in a medium but I'm going to exchange it for a large. I was in an R ring and I thought, okay, this is like a 400 and something pound hat. I'm returning it for the correct size. So it's this hat here. It is the Gucci B hat. The thing I love about this is I love a straw hat. I love straw hats, especially when I'm on holiday because I do take a lot of trips. You know, this channel is also about travel blogging. It's so understated because most people will not know that it's Gucci unless you know the Gucci B or unless you know the hat. And yeah, I really, really like it. The reason why I'm gonna return it for the large is because when I'm wearing my clip-in hair extensions or my natural hair, it fits perfectly. But I can tell that if I have a wig on, this is not going to fit but yeah i'm gonna return it for a large but it is a beautiful hat and the thing i love about it as well i didn't know that on the inside the inside is satin which is perfect for your hair lovely hat and yeah I'm literally gonna return this, repurchase a large. Sticking with the theme of hat, I also purchased this hat. Well, this is more like a visor and this was from Reese. This was so affordable and this I actually wore while I was in Mykonos as well as while I was in Madrid and I got so many compliments because of it. It just looks so, like so understated. I love the fact that it has this black um, weaving at the top and then just this black trim. Then you've got the traditional stone or beige color. The black and the beige complement each other really, really well. It has a tie at the back and also also has a bit of elastic which means that it can adjust to if you like to wear clip-ins or you like to have your natural hair or you like to have wigs or weaves which is perfect and yeah this is amazing really really like it so happy I got it and definitely served this purpose another hat that you guys will be seeing a lot of in my future travels the next thing I got are these glasses from Versace now these are the Medusa Biggie sunglasses and I believe they're inspired by obviously Biggie Smalls famous rapper another item that I wore religiously on my trip and I absolutely love these absolutely love these my mom even wore them for a bit and she was like my mom usually does not like white rim sunglasses but even when she wore it she was like I think I want a pair of these <laughs> So I probably will be purchasing them for my mom and yeah, I just love them and I had seen a lot of people with these glasses I've seen people with the black ones and then I saw the white I can't remember I think I saw the white on Pinterest and I said that is me I've also ordered the black version for my husband one so that we can be doing matchy matchy But two because it means now we have the black and the white in the house So I have the best of both worlds. Let me just fluff up my pillows like so so next I'm so happy about this purchase. I've got the tabby top hand bag from coach if you guys cast your mind back to a few luxury hauls ago I had purchased this bag but in a blue color and I was um and ah and about it if you follow me on Instagram I also made a poll on there about whether I should keep it because the color that they advertised the bag as on the website versus the color it looked like when I received it were two opposites completely opposites I just thought this is not me it's not what I wanted so I returned it and I've been on the lookout ever since for this color to come back 
because burgundy red is me this is also perfect for the autumn and winter season that we're going into you also have this really brassy hardware i'm a gold type of girl so complements really really well and this is basically going to replace i have a gucci top handle bag and i uh, i that bag <laughs> i am i allowed to say that word on youtube because they're very um sensitive basically i've gotten a lot of good use out of that bag i love the look of this bag and i have been ever since i saw that blue version i have just been looking out for this bag so when i saw it came back in this color and i believe it's still in sale and there are still a few available on today when i'm recording this video and i'm planning on uploading this video either today or tomorrow definitely if you like if you're like me i'm a top handle type of babe i've realized for me in bags i love a top handle and then i love a cross body strap a lot of my bags fall into this style category and it just works well for me because you can unclip the strap meaning that you just have a really pretty top handle that you can use for every day but this is also cute for dinner fits quite a bit also love the fact that the bag has feet and if you want more of a casual look you can put the strap and have a crossbody. I really think Coach is very understated. Coach is not given the respect that it really should be because it is a very old house. Like, I think it's as old as Louis Vuitton or some of the, you know, the big names, Louis Vuitton, Chanel, Hermes, down that road. But the difference is they've kept their affordability. They haven't increased their prices and I feel like we should respect them for that. But the craftsmanship is there. This bag is so, so lovely. Like, it has feet, even though it's small. My Gucci one doesn't even have feet. I really, really appreciate the craft craftsmanship and also the fact that i can fit quite a bit like it fits my big um phone and a lot of other little tidbits in there as well which i have like a few bits in there absolutely absolutely love this so i got a lot of different clothing items i would say one of the biggest ones would be my birthday dress so it's from a brand called flat ash i think that's how you pronounce it i'm gonna put a picture here or here of the dress so you guys can see or just very very see-through very very see-through i was basically naked on the streets of mykonos but the dress gave what it needed to give and I loved it. I felt I was defaulting back to my factory settings in terms of, you know, new age, new rebirth and all that stuff. That's my justification for being partially naked across the town of Mykonos. <laughs> But I love the dress. It's a really pretty dress. Another dress that I got. Now, this was actually gifted to me. Um, if you guys follow me over my, on my TikTok, I'm going to be doing a lot of my PR unboxings over on there. I've been thinking for a long time of how to use my TikTok because I didn't just want to repurpose the content from my Instagram to there. And I think doing my PR unboxings is a good way to do that. And also a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. So yeah, I got this dress gifted from Karen Millen and it is so gorgeous. I wore this around Mykonos town. And even though, yes, we are going into the colder months, if you're like me and you know you're of african descent and probably you're doing dirty december back home you're still on the lookout for some summer outfits because it's summer all year round because in winter we're going back home to get some sun so i believe those are all the items that i got for my pre-birthday trip like i said before let me know if you guys do want me to do a what i got for my birthday haul because i got some really lovely stuff like alhamdulillah i feel really really blessed this birthday thank you to all of you guys as well that wish me happy birthday all of you that follow me over on my instagram it just warmed my Heart. and i try to respond to every single one because i really really do appreciate it i hope that you guys have enjoyed this vlog you've enjoyed seeing me and my mum gallivant around madrid and yeah i've had such an amazing birthday alhamdulillah i'm so so grateful to have made it to this age with everything that, that i've achieved especially after the beginning of this year yeah the beginning of this year was rough the beginning of this year was very very rough but we made it through we're here we're feeling better than ever and i'm still a baby girl i'm still Still a baby girl. Yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog slash haul type situation. If you like this video, then you might like this video or possibly this video here. Click on either of those and let me continue to entertain you. I hope you have a good morning, evening, afternoon or whatever time you watch this video. And I'll see you all in my next video.